तो ये कॉमनवेल्थ गेम्स में आम आदमी का रुपया का दुरुपयोग हुआ है और जिस कॉमनवेल्थ गेम्स का बजट तैतीस करोड़ था जिसे कैबिनेट ने पास किया था वो अब अस्सी हजार करोड़ इसी तरह की ट्रांजैक्शंस के कारण पहुंच गया है जी yeah. मैं स्ट्रांगली मांग करता हूं कि इसकी सारे की जुडिशियल इंक्वायरी होनी चाहिए कॉमनवेल्थ गेम्स की राइट right. हम चाहते हैं कि कॉमनवेल्थ गेम्स समय पर हों जी और ठीक तरह से हों जी जी नो बट आई गेट इसकी जांच जरूर होनी चाहिए आई गेट योर पॉइंट नाउ यू नो मिस 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 नटराजन इफ is the government being over protective about suresh kalmati i mean to put it bluntly if the head of the organizing committee was a bjp man and this kind of dirt had come out would you have reacted in the same way or is the is the compulsion <coughs> the fact that the games are 60 days away and you cannot see seem to be tough against a person who is responsible for running the games 2 months from now i don't understand what uh, you mean by being tough uh the, as far as i am aware uh, i i i i i know that the commonwealth games uh, organizing committee is an autonomous body it is not under the government and whatever revenues are being generated uh, undoubtedly taxpayers money is going into it undoubtedly the yeah undoubtedly the cabinet discussed it undoubtedly there's a budget there's a responsibility it's the credibility of the nation which is at stake yeah but this is an organizing committee which is autonomous of government no but it's taxpayer money to return the it's, it's it's taxpayer money i know it's completely I know taxpayer money at this point money. of time it's taxpayers money but i understand that when the revenue is generated uh, a portion of it will be refunded Ma but that is not my i can tell you the there. revenue is also Our being generated is, by taxpayer money they have got some 350 or, or 400 crores out of which 250 crores is gov ministries and no, out of I'm that sorry, also a large 20% is going as commission to an australian company so it's completely a taxpayer money funded operation which is why the taxpayer will ask today that what is happening to our why should it why should the money be frittered away to some little known companies like this in uk i'm not you're asking the wrong person i'm not a member of the organizing committee i'm not even a former member yeah. <laughs> like mr goyal is all i'm saying is that uh, the fact of the matter is that government does right. not have to be protective right. government has been proactive the minister has been proactive the government has little to hide if wrong doing has happened whoever is guilty will no. be punished i am only as a concerned citizen hopeful and expecting that the games should showcase our country and be conducted properly well, if there has been a money trail if there has no. been a trail of wrong doing uh, whoever is guilty should be punished no, and i am and my party is as anxious as the next person to well, ensure is, that taxpayers well, money is not wasted well, well, government, you people don't have a monopoly on worrying about the taxpayers money no no it's not a monopoly at all ms ms natarajan certainly not Yeah, I, you're I talking as if the government is not concerned no, no, about I, the taxpayers' money. No, no, I'm certainly money. saying, but you know, the I, fact I, is, we yeah. are all as concerned about it, mm. and we are all as concerned that it, we should get to the bottom no, of it. But I am only saying that I don't know of any other country which organizing a such an event where another country has to launch an investigation into how that money's country's money is being spent. I mean, this is a unique and first, perhaps, where a criminal investigation of another country is happening. into the money is being transferred from india to the uk i there is no such precedent no. that i know of pradeep magazine do you know of any such precedent in your many years as a sports journalist <laughs> well i i i know many precedents <laughs> where money is laundered uh, whether it will be match fixing in cricket or 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 maybe ipl there are investigations on so i don't think these scams as such are new to us but i think the worrisome aspect is that we are just two months left for the games now with all these uh, allegations coming up uh, a far more serious charges or far more serious factor today is that our stadiums are not ready and even if they are ready uh, we believe or people are saying that the material used is substandard and during the game some mishap could happen mm. that will leave us very very embarrassed on top of it now we find that the commonwealth games own organizers are if your reports are true if these allegations are true that there is money laundering going on there may be a benami company in london where they are sending their own money what does this speak of us as a nation i can understand the 
government if they if they launch a probe just now that would mean that it delays right. the work furthermore that means they will have to stop lot of things right. they can't afford to do that true so so all the investigations obviously will be done after the games are over yeah. but within these two months if our if our stadiums are not complete or if they are complete but they are not properly done and if some mishap happens that embarrasses us even today these reports must be no. embarrassing us because internationally or whichever country is looking at us yeah. would be talking about the fact that india instead of talking about their preparedness of the commonwealth games there are huge allegations yeah. and in fact yesterday only the swimming federation uh, president who were from outside who uh, a testing event was being held here he expressed his grave concern that this swimming complex is not ready and even if it gets ready by the time uh, olympic uh, commonwealth game starts he yeah. is not sure whether this no, no. Uh, this uh, no, no. complex the will last point. after that so what does this whole thing speak for us as people we talk about national pride and if corruption has taken place there are contractors involved there are officials involved there are politicians involved there are yeah, almost there is, every one of see, our citizens what it, who is involved with the games on publicly we yeah, talk about national no, pride no, but, and privately yeah, what is no, what are we wh doing what, why yes, are we, we are like embarrassing yeah. Why, we our are, country yeah, at the expense I, of so that I, I we get make your a small point. Uh, uh, money. I, I, I completely it's get your point. Yeah, it's very sad. I get your point. And, 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 and that is the people. reason, Pradeep, Pradeep, that is the reason I am saying again and again. I am saying this to Jayanti Nataraj, Ravi Shankar Prasad, they are all equally concerned. Every party is equally concerned today. Some may be expressing it differently, some may have compulsion. Oh, nice. Question is today, before I go to Sohail said, the question is today, so far till yesterday we said contractors and subcontractors are... Do, doing overpriced work, you know, un below par, par work in India. Now we know this is happening even in the UK. Is this the only one? I don't know. Sohail, what do you think? I'm not surprised. I mean, we've had every well-known industrialist uh, uh, using Hawala as a, uh, a mechanism of transferring money. We are off air with this. We are the pioneers in money laundering in a manner of speaking. So if it's happening now, why are you surprised? I mean, Ravi Shankar Prasad or Jayanti, all of us know this. This is reality. What is sad is that when we are putting together what will be truly an international event, this is what we are discussing and this is what we've come down to discussing. And the sadness is that this will continue to happen. If this is true, this is not the last that, that you will hear of it. So my question, which I mentioned on your channel a couple of days ago, is we do not have demonstrable punishment for these rogues if they are rogues. We don't lock them up and throw away the keys. We have a, we have a porous judicial system. Right. You know what this country said? Sukram is corrupt, so what? But at least he's giving us telephones. Today, you look at a guy and say, oh, he's an honest politician. No, but let's keep... These have become rarities. It's almost dinosaur-like. No, I understand. That suddenly a dinosaur has appeared who's honest. Yeah, but I... This I, is the true nature I, of India. It true, and, and I, so I'm only... That's bit. Yeah, I'm only making a point again and again. It is embarrassing that a foreign government investigators are questioning how we are spending our money. Not embarrassing no, no, at all. No, no, no. Not embarrassing. No, it's, it's de of deep concern, There are concerns, four industrialists right? in the last six months no, who no. have landed in Delhi and have been caught and sent to jail. Yeah. Because they didn't pay back. I, I, all of them, including the, one pretty woman. The, the irony of this is not, not going to be lost on, on all our viewers. And I can tell you, Jayanti Natarajan, Ravi Shankar Prasad, Vijay Goel, Pradeep and Sohail. I, there are so many people who are calling into our newsroom expressing their point of view over this. The Commonwealth Games is not one person's property. It's not Suresh Kalmadi's property. And that's the fundamental point. Let, let, me, get, let, me, get, let me get Rupinder's point and then, then we get into counter questions. Rupinder, what do you think? Well, uh, Arnab, uh, frankly speaking, sport doesn't have values of its own. They are reflecting the values of society. And as Absolutely. Sohail said, we have it in all aspects of our society. And it's not surprising that it would have uh, sprung up in sport also. The main thing that is surprising me as a sports uh, passionate lover is the fact that the government keeps funding these people. In 1984, at the LA Olympics, Peter Oberoth told the whole world a message. If you need to organize sport, it can be done commercially and you need to sell your product and raise your own revenues. From 1984 to 2010, no other sport in India except cricket has bothered to raise the revenue and mm. the government Valid continues point. to fund these federations who call themselves autonomous Subsidized. bodies, honorary True. bodies and uh, you say what? 
and their knowledge of sport has not increased over the 40, 50 years that I have been involved in from a 14 year old till a 57 year old standing here and discussing this. So it's, it's appalling the way sports is run, just a byproduct of everything in society.